Yeah, look at this. Oh, that is huge. Oh, hey everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel, Untitled Projects. What are we doing? What are we doing today? Today we're doing mods. So mods have really exploded over the last couple of months or so. And loads and loads of new liveries were coming out, massive mega packs of liveries and all sorts of stuff. And also a lot of really nice scenery, you know, starting with some cities like London and all of that. And, uh, and airports, you know, slowly creeping in there. Uh, obviously, there's only a certain amount that you can get in the marketplace on the on the game. But if you look for liveries elsewhere on the old inner web, which is the internet, um, you can find it through Google. It's uh, there's a lot out there. I, I tend to go to flightsim.to, which just has a lot of stuff, and it's a really nice website as well. Um, so check it out. But today, I'm going to take you through five or six of my favorite favorite mods. And uh, there's a there's a special one in there, so you might want to watch to the end, or just skip to the end, or maybe not, whatever. That's kind of sci-fi. Anyway, uh, so I'm going to go through airports, my favourite airport, um, and some nice scenery, and a city, and also some liveries as well. Uh, I tend to go for the military type stuff, you know, because I'm super cool. Anyway, so uh, we're in the USA. And I am going to head straight to, not Lower Loon, uh, we are going, where the hells am I? Ah, here we go, Yosemite. Uh, so there's a really, really nice mod um, that has remapped El Capitan and all of that. So I'm going to start in Lee Vining, going to get myself a, a super fast jet and um, go from there. Okay, be warned that... Uh, this airport's pretty far away, uh, so that's why I've got the jet. So it's going to get me there super fast. So uh, I'll show you the map in a sec. I'll just take off without crashing. Not the biggest airport, but, um, you know, not bad. Anyway, on my way. Boom. Quick little uh, factoid. This lake behind was a volcano. Uh, I wasn't there before the 17th century. I just found out doing my old research. It's pretty cool. Uh, and that middle bit there is the old volcano. I don't know if it's still active. Probably not. It's called uh, Foa Island and just suddenly appeared. Good times. Yosemite Valley. Uh, so this has all been remodeled. And I think this bit, this first bit, hasn't maybe been done? Uh, I don't know. You tend to be able to see the polygons when it's been... Oh, our speed is high. Okay, that definitely hasn't been done, that bit. You can see it's all a bit super weird. All right, so I think it probably starts a little bit further down. But, you know, nevertheless, this is this is a nice bit of fun flying down this valley. God damn it, I love this plane. So nice. All right, we're almost there, almost there. I did crash because I tried to fly upside down. My fault. And here she is in all her beautiful glory. Look at this. I mean... So right hand side, not done, but straight ahead. Look at that high fidelity lushness. I think there's only one way to see this for real and that's upside down. Look at that. Woo. So look ahead, I mean that is, that's very nice. Almost looks real. If you get too close, you can see the polygons. Uh, you can see on the left there. Check out Polyglon Heaven. <laughs> anyway, apart from that, very nice. Uh, my frame rates died a little bit, but you know. And there we go. That's it. I mean, it's you can see some bits have been done, other bits haven't. But in general, that is an awesome valley. Right. On to. I think I'm going to go to an airport. Wow, the weather is bad. I should know that because I'm looking at an airport in England in. Uh, um, Wickham, Wickham Airport, or Booker, Booker Airfield. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. I'm, very, I'm parked very close to that other plane. 
I'm not sure the health and safety is quite on point. Um, but anyway, let's, uh, I mean, yeah. That didn't work, did it? Okay, well, l l let's have a little walk around. Now, the reason I like this place is, oh, I haven't got any electrics. There we go. There's the, uh, one of the engines. Um, yeah, I think, uh, hmm. I think we probably need to just redo this. Okay, this is better. Good. Right, so why do I like Wickham Air, Air Park? Because as a kid, we used to go to these little places all the time. They're awesome. You know, they have little air shows, all that kind of stuff. And I used to fly with my dad, and that's why. I like it a lot. Anyway, I'm going to change the weather because it's winter, you know, and it sucks. All right, we got a running. Got the lights. Got the dude in the car. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's have a look outside. All right, so, yeah, you can get this in the marketplace. If you're in the UK, you'll love little airports like this, you know. This plane's probably a little bit too classy for this place, but, you know, it's cool. Looks great, though. Right, um... I'll do a little, I'll get up in the air, and then we'll do a little, uh, little flyby. Oh, he knows when to go, he's moving. Yeah, get the hell out of here. Come on, just squeeze it between, come on. Oh, very nice looking little airport there. Cool. Alrighty, flyby time. Slow it down. See, look, nice little simple. Simple airport. Those are the nice ones sometimes. Some gliders over there. Some nice little details. Just really basic. Look at that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, my goodness. That was really lucky. Okay, I'm going to swing around and actually show you properly instead of being an idiot. And there she is. Nice. Okay, so, um... Yeah, I just really like that airport. It's kind of fun and kind of countryside. So, sweet. Okay, let's land this baby. Oh, is this going to happen? Coming in a little too tight. Oh, floated it. <laughs> that was very nice. Let's get these brakes on. Come on, come on. Brakes, brakes, brakes. Oh, oh dear. The brakes are not working. Okay. Uh, well, great airport. So, sweet. Let's head to a city. Oh, hi, how's it going, eh? So, uh, yeah, we've gone down under. And we're going to have a look at Sydney. Obviously in the MB339, as always, because it's awesome. Mm, beautiful day for flying. And here's Sydney in all its glory. There's one of the bridges, looking nice. I mean, it's just a great city in general. I mean, it looks awesome. There's the, the opera house. And I mean, when you're flying around it in a jet, it's even cooler. Oh, are we, can we make it underneath? Oh, this is gonna push it. This is gonna push it. Come on. Oh, yeah. You always have to fly under the bridges. Every time you go to any city, always fly under the bridges. Okay, we're gonna come in hot now. Watch out for all these boats. Couple of tankers. Whoa. Yeah. Sydney Opera House, all oh, my frame rate's dying. Let's head over the top here. There's that crazy tower, I can't remember what it's called, but looks pretty awesome. Nice park. Railway station. Old school railway station. Oh, it's really killing my frame right now. Oh, let's pull up before we die. No, we died. Cool. I think that's maybe Manly over there. Possibly, or... or yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know. I've never been to Australia. But that is... That is 
a cool city. I just know someone that lives in Manly, you know. And it's an easy name to remember because it's Manly. All right, let's delve into these liveries. So I have to say that a lot of these planes have some really nice liveries, but the X-Cub just gets so many nice liveries. Everyone loves the X-Cub. It's just a nice plane, you know, you get to see lots of stuff, it's chilled. <laughs> now this is what I'm talking about. Uh, let's um, let's choose that livery. Look at that. I mean, <laughs> that is awesome. You know, from a design side of st stuff to uh, the colors to uh, it's just super 80s. You know, mixed in with a little bit of a uh, little bit of current design trendiness. I mean, that's cool. So this is my favorite livery, and you can see what it's called up at the top there. I'll put a link in to the description uh, about where it's from and to put it on everything but it's just cool let's go flying look at that so i just chose a totally random island in the middle of the sea to do this uh just so we can fly around and have a look at what it looks like and it's pretty colorful let's check it out from outside yeah ah oh, straight into a storm it's really windy so this i think is the nicest livery you can get Right, I'm going to head in for a, a, a wee landing, I do believe. Uh, I'll just find somewhere to land real quick. It's probably just going to be in a field. The locals are not going to expect this. Some absolute baller in the craziest plane. Right, so we've got a pretty intense crosswind. Let's get all those flaps down. Let's make this really soft. Come on. Look at this. Just float it. Floating. And yes... Oh, only one bounce. Oh, you can see that that wind is strong. Oh, we're going to tip the wing. We're going to tip the wing. Be careful. We're getting blown low with the blades. Okay, brakes. And there it is. My livery of the, of the week, of the year, of all of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Okay, so <laughs> next thing. Is going to be awesome. You got to watch it for this one because this is insania. Okay, here we are. This is obviously the Empire Star Destroyer Executor or ESDX. Look, this is creepy. Uh, I was warned that this could kill my frame rate, but you know, so I went for the favorite, second favorite actually, to the MB339. Uh, I went for obviously the Dahar. The Daha in black with some red detailing, which I think is pretty evil. So they're not going to know that I'm trying to escape. Right, let's have a look. It's so misty. Who's this? God, there's so many of them. Oh, God. How are we going to get out of here? This is a, a ship floating in the middle of Antarctica. A little bit more sunny. No, no. Wow, they've really gone for it. Clear sky. There we go. Clear skies. Scattered clouds. Look at that. How the hell am I going to get out of here? Whoa. <laughs> French crane over there. How richly bizarre. This is cool. This is super cool. Okay. Right, let's get this going. And this this doesn't completely kill my frame rate to absolute destruction. I'd be lucky. Oh, it's getting pretty slow already. <laughs> That's so cool. Whoa! I think I'm going to take off... Oh. Yeah, the nose is lifting. So apparently this is a, about a kilometer, two kilometers long. Let's get the gear up. How am I going to get out of here? Oh, yeah. Don't stall. Yeah, look at this. Oh, that is huge. Uh, I think I need to do an entire video just about this. That is enormous. 
I am overcome with emotions. I'm not even a Star Wars fan. I'm sorry to say. Right, we've got to remember where that is. I'm going to do a fly around and just have a look around this thing. It's huge. Obviously, it's huge. Uh, I saw a uh, a pretty... Oh, they've got a crane down there. Uh, that's got to be held up in some way, I guess. But this is pretty big. So let's just, let's just do a little fly around. Have a look. See what's going on. Maybe I'll... Uh, Put some music to it. Okay, well, that was a lot of fun. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Make sure you watch the next episode. Okay, bye.